Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. So we and I are getting ready. Head down to the barn. No more sleeping in. No more sleeping in for me. Yeah, Sophie can never sleep in. She's like, oh, thank goodness. You have to be part of my life. Can I put Daisy in her cage? Cause yeah, put sad. Daisy in her cage. Take her out for a pee first. Queen. Queen. All right, Queen. so I have this little apple. I'm going to bring it down with me. Okay, so good morning, guys. Welcome to today. So Sam doesn't know this, but I plan to prank him today. I'm like up to my pranks again already. I hardly slept last night, but I'm ready for pranking. Hi, Penny. Hello. Hello, Gracie. Hello, Willow. Okay, so this is my plan. Last time I bought a horse, I woke up in the morning and said to, said to Sam, take me back. We have to take her back. And he was like, what? So today, I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to be the taking her horse back prank. Some cat was just here. I think it was Lexi. Where'd she go? Lexi. Oh, the dogs came. Darn it. All right, so be ready for the prank. I'll show, tell you when I'm ready. Anyways, before anything else happens, this awesome, this awesome lady named Linda sent us this gorgeous blanket for well, Gracie. Gracie. Yeah, we're going to try it on her. Let's give them their grain first. I think that already did because he went down. No, no, no grain yet. Are you kidding? I don't want anybody else feeding my horse. Oh, can I feed your horse? Sure. <laughs> We all went to bed so late. I didn't have any sleep. Well, I was playing a fan. Oh my gosh, yes. So, honestly, uh, the girls were playing, what's the name of that game? Oh. Among Us. The what? Among Us. Among Us. And the girls posted their server or something on social media. And then they got to play with fans and they were in love. I could hear them screaming and laughing. You guys were teasing them. It was so much fun. Kept killing us. Kept killing us. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so what grand is she getting? Literally frozen. It's cold. Um, wait, is she getting this? Yeah, no, she only gets grain at night. So what we're going to do, because we do a vitamin grain, we're going to give her one cup of that. And the only reason we're going to give her one cup of it is because, like, she's going to get two cups of it eventually, she, or two and a half for her size. Yeah, she just needs it's to just slow. vitamins. Yeah, we need to go slow because you don't want to. And our other horses get grain in the morning. It's just vitamins. It's no sugar, no fat, no carbs. Well, I mean, it's got to have something in there, but... We just give them a tiny bit so they're getting their vitamins. Oh, come on now. Oh, hi, Sam. <laughs> Sam was down here early fixing fencing. So proud of him. Complaining like a trooper, though. <laughs> All right, Penny. She looks black now in the day. But she's brown. I feel like she's brown. Just wait. Wait. Oh, she's not messy in her stall. Did she wait. drink? Oh, my gosh. She drinks. She's perfect. She has to wait. Yeah, she's she's. You can eat your food. She's nervous of us, so she's like, "Yeah, there you go." Wait, oh, I girl. see how much water. We are mucking souls today. <laughs> Look at you. Sophie wants to feed Willow because Willow be greedy, and I'll be feeding you because you're my favorite. <sighs> One of my favorites. They're like, "Why do we get in a stall?" I like, see, she loves her nap. Loves her nap time. All right, so Sam, this is Sam's problem. This is what's making his world miserable right now. Tell them what's the problem, Sam. Tell them what you think I should do. You should put them all together and see what happens. Okay, okay. so. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna all put them all on halters. I think I can handle her more than you. For no, I can handle them. her. Introducing No, them. I'm a changed woman, sister. Okay, just wait, listen, let's go back to dad for a second. So here's the thing. We could do that because we did that at our barn. We had no choice. Our three horses had each other, so that's a big difference. But there's only one difference at this barn. What's the difference? There's no difference than every time we brought a horse here. I know, and it sucked every single time. Yeah. So. That's how they have to figure out. Okay, except for we don't have good fencing. We don't have the right fencing. Okay, we have an indoor arena that we can close off. I know, but Will and Gracie just walked through that because it's not electrified. Indoor arena. You want to close the do? door? We can't close the door. She has to have friends. Cut a hole in the door. No way. That's okay. crazy. I so, said put them all in the indoor arena. There's no room for them to get away if they get into a fight, though. They have to have room. There's lots of room. There's not room, especially for there's Penny. No She's a big horse. There's no room anywhere to put them out there. Okay. I know, which is why That's I wanted to put them idea. in the big field. Yeah, Sam wants to not use our big, gorgeous fields that are like double paddocked because he took everything apart when we moved our boys. Nothing he had to find a horse. 
so we're gonna try what we did with the other horse and we're gonna see what happens you guys so pray for us and we're gonna do our best and we're just gonna evolve as she evolves so any problems that happen are going to be the responsibility oh, of dude. mr sam yeah, the man the so back to linda thank you so much linda for sending us this gorgeous blanket so one thing one thing about me is that i love pink if you love it own it this is a size 60. Ooh, gracie you think it fits i think it does fit she looks cute and i want a pink blanket for willow and i want a pink blanket for penny the only problem is it's really hard to find pink blankets where we live and it's a nice warm blanket yeah it's like really warm yeah, it's like a nice, perfect one for Gracie this year. Thank you so much, Linda. That's amazing. I'm so grateful to you for sending this to us. I was going to buy her a blanket no matter what this year, but I love pink. It fits Gracie perfectly. But this looks like it's going to be too big. Oh, that, oh, look, it can adjust a lot. So poor little Willow over here doing much better with her weight. Still chubby though. She only has a gray blanket because that's all I could find last year. But if I find you a pink one, don't you worry, you will get it, okay? I love it. That is my dream blanket. I would like three pink girls. All right, take it off. All right, Penny. What do you think? Apparently, she loves her main brush, which is big. Maybe I should brush her. See, she's shy of us. She's like, I do not know how I ended up here. You're okay. I have a pink halter for you. I just gotta find it. She drank at least a half a bucket of water. She drank probably almost a full bucket. Good girl. And she must have laid down because she got pee on her belly. She's like, give me more food. I like the food better than you. Looks like she pooped on the wall, to be honest. Or that was Chino. How weird that she ended up in Stella's stall, though. I like Gabby Chews, just to help make it feel better for her. And she picked this one. Oh, you look good and mermaid. I definitely see Stella. Yeah, I see Stella too. Everybody sees Stella. Like this marking? It's going to bring down a white cloth on wet your eye. This marking eyes. looks like Stella's marking. Yeah. I want to see. So we have that one, but I also have my pink one. What does your belly look like? She's peed. She must have laid down. Her poop looks good. Look at that. looks like a heart. I was looking to see if she had a heart on her. Mom, She's nervous. She's nervous. Yeah, that you're behind her. She yeah. Where'd you go? I know. I'm sorry, honey. You're gonna get used to us. I promise. I'm gonna clean this your is eyes a later. Full, so yeah. Yeah. Well, here is my pink one. You need to clean your eye goop. I know. I'm gonna go get a cloth right now. I really want to encourage and facilitate Sophie's love of her, and the reason I want to do that, I need a washcloth, is because I like the support of having my kids love the horse that I have and want to help me. Even though yesterday at the owner's house, I literally, I don't have any washcloths. Yeah, man. Um, I literally wrote her like the lady left and I just was cantering her around. Like, that is not like me at all. We have a show on Saturday too. What do you guys think of that? Also, another. Test it, like, it's as small as it can go, as big as it can go. Oh, wow. It fits nice. Look it, I wanna wash your face. It's just water. I just wanna wash your eye because it's gooey. So I'll get the vet to check that out. That's a girl. It's cold. Don't rub it up here. Well, uh, yeah, I just wanna get the goo out. So Finny has gooey eyes too. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. They're okay. Good girl. She definitely looks like a Tennessee walking horse. Like she has the definite she head. She looks like a baby though. No, she's 14. Like, she's, I almost feel like it almost looks like her eyelashes are, her, her eyelid is turned in. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've seen that before in animals. I don't know her if that. Her eyes are huge. Are they huge? Yeah. She seems to like that. She's not head shy. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it better after. It's hard to video and do stuff. So that's a good plan. Like this. Good thing I pay you well. He wants to put Willow in the back and with a halter on in case she gets loose. He electrified the fence between the two pastures. And we're gonna put these two in the indoor outdoor. So that's the plan. Right, let's go, let's put Willow out, put Willow's halter on her. And we're going to throw some hay first. Let's wait, let's throw hay. I also hate the fact that we took her from a beautiful, amazing pasture and we're putting her in a mud pit. Like never before has this pasture been a mud pit. And now all of a sudden this year is a mud pit. Yeah, so Well it's not that 
mud. It is. I don't like to introduce horses in mud. Like, that's why I wanted to wait to get a horse, but God had a different plan. And you know what I feel like? I feel like God was telling me, like, we're not going to find a new farm until we take, like, I feel like you have to reach certain steps and milestones in your journey before the next one becomes available to you. I felt like all along that we're meant to get her before we get a farm, if that makes sense. Like, that's what I feel. All right, so the lady that we bought it from said that she doesn't introduce horses for three weeks, which I love that idea. That was my plan, but... I think Penny likes Willow. You think she likes Willow? Yeah, well, because her friend left. I want to leave my mare. What if she bolts because she's So scared. when I lead her, I want to make sure she knows all the stuff. Like, I want to back her up a little. Yeah, I want her. That. Okay. I went by your house, what a big mistake. come through that door remind me of Stella so much but I want you guys to know I'm not replacing Stella this is a completely different horse she's got longer legs she's got longer legs Just leave Ruby. Just leave Ruby. Wow. All right. she looks pretty in pink though you're gonna be okay so one thing about her that I actually love is that she's got long legs Stella had really short stubby legs but I love a tall-legged girl the horses are probably like just let me go already like I can figure this out just open your eyes and take my advice Stop rolling the dice and just compromise It's the chance of your life Okay, try to be brave You have so much to say Take control of your own life Right now, every mistake Makes you feel like a fake Take control of Alright, I want to take her home I'm gonna take her home. I'm, I'm done. Like honestly, I don't You're think not that. No. Yes. We have to do it. Like we. <laughs> Sam's looking at me. No, I mean I think we should just take her home. Like I don't. I don't. I think it was the wrong choice. Just like last time. Why was it wrong choice? Because. I think she likes Willow more. Oh, Willow be squealing. Wait, is that his No. I, I'm not joking. I think we should take her home. I'm going to phone the lady why, right now. Why would you do that? Because, Sam, obviously I can't handle horses. Like, this is scaring me so much. Like, I just want to take her home. Why don't you take her to the other, the barn? Because he said not yet. <laughs> See, she doesn't understand electric fences either. Come on. No, no, no. Let's just take her home. Come on. I'm going to go phone the lady. Let's get her and put her back in the stall. Yeah, I'm not joking. Like, I think we should do it. Take her home. No, I'm not joking. Like my heart is racing. It's only the girls. The girls can stay home. The girls get. To, you don't have to come. Look at her ears, pinned way back. Uh, they're not pinned. Oh. She's friendly. See, like that is why we separated that one from her because she's the fighter. Gracie likes everybody. She's trembling a bit. Yeah, she's a trembler. I was just joking. It was a prank. <laughs> take her home. I never want to take her Why home. Why we take home this perfect mare? I know. And I should have hid the camera. Sam would have had a whole different reaction. The world would have seen it. I said you better call her to come get her. <laughs> oh, yes. I should have did the prank better. I should have been like, I should hit the camera. That was my plan, hide the camera, but I had to do it when it would be like the most believable. Did you believe me? Which they did until I started laughing. I started laughing and they're like, you're joking. So Sam's going to do some more work on our paddock. <coughs> well, it looks mad down there, but honestly, so far, everything looks pretty chill. Gracie and there you go. It's okay, I'll just stand here. It's for you. It's so yummy. Oh, she likes it. Good girl. It's 
such a good girl. She didn't even touch my fingers at all. Good girl. Oh. One thing I didn't ask is when her teeth were done last, so I'll do that. I'll ask her. <laughs> Molly doesn't like her. She growled at her too. Good girl. Such a pretty girl. Oh, I could just sit here all day. All right, so she would not come to me. I wanted to bring her in. She had a good breakfast. She wouldn't come to me, so I got some treats. And literally, she just, I kept step backing up a few steps. She followed me around. She likes her treats. She walked with me to here. And now she's like, I don't think so. Come on. Good girl. You guys, I did not get a replacement for Stella. Like, Stella was a whole different horse, a whole different ball game, a whole different everything. I wanted a gated horse that was going to be for me. And I wanted a gated horse to have a relationship with and a gated horse that I knew I could ride. And God answered my prayers. Like, remember when I was trying to get Stella to notice me and love me? This horse noticed me. She, I was brushing her hair and she was staring at me. She was noticing me. Oh, she's got mud underneath here too. She was noticing me and then when I cleaned her bum, holy heck, she, I don't know, she must have had her bum cleaned before. That's something that's so important, you guys. If you want to bond with your horse, especially a mare, you gotta clean their butts. Like, it gets itchy. When dried poop gets all in that area, it gets so itchy for them. And so when you take away something that's so uncomfortable for them, oh my gosh, like they will bond with you, I swear. Stella bond, you go ahead. Stella bonded with me over the bum cleaning. Yeah, so her owner told me that she loves her hair brushed. She does, she loves it. Sam is building a new a gate over here. So he's putting the, putting the gate here so that the mare, the ponies can be on that side. She can be on this side. This will be her area just for now while they get used to each other because good job, Penny, good job. It's such a small, field and muddy for mares to get used to each other so ah, it's okay we're okay we're walking around good girl girl let her have a smell wow holy heck so we're gonna just walk right into the barn in a minute. Ah, oh, on this side. Ah, you need to stop. You need to stop. Something in the air, always something in the air. My goal for Penny is to ride bitless. That's my dream, that's my goal. I think a lot of the problems I have with stopping her 
is that I, is the bit maybe, because I'm kind of pulley on the bit. So, I mean, it's all getting used to each other. But yeah, so my goal is to ride bitless with her. So there are some things that she has to be able to do on the ground before you can even try and go bitless with a horse. Been watching a lot of videos. <laughs> a lot of videos, you guys. So, anyways, there will be that process that will happen. Good girl. Good girl. I feel like she's already m more attuned to me. Remember, you have to walk behind me. Such a pretty pony. So anyways, yeah, I'm excited. Um, both of our trainers think she's good. Both of our trainers think she's good. Like, I don't know if Fiona's just preoccupied and not paying attention, but they both said she's cute. I think she'll be great. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, I'm an animated person, Penny. Gotta get used to it. I'm flailing my arms and talking loud all the time. Do you mind that I talk? I think she's I think she's telling me that she's just got to get used to me. You ready to go? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see if we can walk right into the barn. Right into her stall, right into her barn. She's getting a treat for that one. Good job, Penny. You are an awesome horse for me. I hope you learn to love me as much as I love you. And I know you're confused about the camera. This is a part of your life now. Okay? All right, let's do a turn around and go back into the arena. Okay? Okay, doing it from the other side now. So this horse has been trained to like um, load on each, like climb up on each side. She has been trained like a lot of stuff so that she's, oh, She's telling me she's not going back out till she gets her treat. All right, I can do that because you are a good girl, but then we're gonna do it one more time and you're not gonna get a treat, okay? I needed a horse that I could work myself and could handle myself. I think I found that. Like, I think she's pretty perfect, you guys. Perfect for me anyways. I just realized something very, very bad. She knows how to go upstairs, the <laughs> upstairs. So I'm gonna get Sam to put the rope across there and hope that helps. Also had her follow me around and um, with treats and man, she followed me everywhere. Like followed me, just walked right fast, right behind me. So we're off to a great start. And I wanted to just tell you guys, remind you guys that every day holds the possibility of a miracle, big or small. The only thing you need to do is get up and go out there and see what God has planned for you. Every day has a miracle in it. You might not notice some of them because they're tiny, but some of them are huge and you'll never know what day it is unless you get up. Turn off the TV, turn off the computer, turn off your phone, go out there and see what God has planned for you. All right, so a new theme in our life is that every time we drive to the barn, my car blows a, blows something. Like this is new, there's brakes, some other kind of hose broke, this a new and now another new hose broke. Fun times, fun times. Anyway, we are at the bar. We're waiting for Kaylee. Gabby and Kaylee are gonna go for a ride. In fact, um, they're gonna go for a ride, trail ride with Kaylee's dad because he's been missing riding. And then they're gonna ride in the arena and I'm gonna leave. Are you okay if I leave and pick you up? Mm -hmm. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like Storm, the black next to him and he's looking all white there. He's picky, eh? He likes to lay on the nice soft hay. The saddle fix, oh, he's gonna get up for you. Oh, he's like, my daddy's here. Oh, see? <laughs> he says, no. <laughs> Come here, Oakley. I got treats. Come here. Whoa. See, that's how they get hurt. Right, so I'm getting ready to go home. Oh, he looks good. Or at least he looks forward. Yeah. You think he's good? Looking chubby. Love me a chubby pony. Wait till you see the girlfriend I got for you. Actually, 
I, I feel like he's doing the same thing, but I don't think. Wait, which leg is it? Which leg is it? The left or the right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think he's good. It was. Uh, yeah, I think he's good. I mean, you're not going to be galloping out there. Mike's going to be with you. She's afraid of you guys. I didn't vlog it. She was over at that gate. I called her name and walked up and she just came walking right over to me. The lady told me that she's a hard, she's not hard, but she's a harder one to catch. Such a good girl. It's because she thinks I have her some treats, but I don't. I have her some medicine, some omeprazole to see if she has some belly ache. All right, so she does not love omeprazole. <laughs> But we got it in there, huh? Good girl. Such a good girl. She's gonna have supper soon. But anyways, I am going to take her for a little walk around the property and then give them a little bit more food, give you guys some food. She did some poops in here. So she's doing good, you wanna go for a walk? So I got her out here, we're in the enclosed area now. I'm gonna take her for a walk around the arena. Let her have a little bit of grass. She actually is not supposed to eat for 20 minutes after the medicine. Don't be eating yet, Miss Penny Pooh. Come on. All right, so I'm out here in the arena. She's so good. So she's like, are you talking to me? Who are you talking to? So I walked her around like about five times. You're gonna make me skinny, Miss Penny. And she's listening really well. She wants to eat the grass, but she listens when I tell her no. She listens to most of my voice commands. See, she knows I'm gonna say no. So she puts her head down like, can I? As long as I say no each time, then she doesn't. I tried, written down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured out. What I